So, welcome back to this NPTEL course. Today, we would like to see the wear behavior of yttria stabilized zirconia nano ceramics. So, we know the zirconia ceramic exist in three different crystalline forms, monoclinic at lower temperature uh, up to 1170 and then it becomes a tetragonal at around 2370 and then over that it is cubic before it gets melted to liquid. So, the zirconia the tetragonal phase or the cubic phase can be stabilized by adding a small amount of yttria. So, addition of the small amount of yttria retains this tetragonal phase which is metastable. So, this metastable phase can again retransform into monoclinic under an application of external stress. So, this tetragonal to monoclinic phase transformation involves a volume expansion of around 3 to 5 percent. So, because of this volume expansion and then the strain so that introduces compressive stresses at the crack tip. So, you can see here this is a schematic showing the tetragonal phase and then this is transforming to monoclinic and then these are the transformed particles of monoclinic. So, in the vicinity of this crack there is a transformed zone of monoclinic. So, because of this tetragonal to monoclinic so, there is a compressive stress generated on the crack. So, the crack will not be propagated easily. So, you get a fracture toughness improvement. So, this transformation toughens the zirconia. So, this transformation toughens zirconia ceramics with higher fracture toughness and relatively low elastic modulus. These are considered to be candidate materials for several wear resistant applications. So, so today we consider this yttria stabilized tetragonal zirconia polycrystalline ceramics for their uh, un for the understanding on their wear behavior. So, these ceramics were prepared by spark plasma centering. The spark plasma centering was done with 3 mole percent yttria stabilized zirconia. So, in these two cases these were co precipitated whereas, in other three cases actually this uh, 3 by TZP that is 3 percent 3 mole percent yttria stabilized zirconia with uh, uh, mixed with uh, other powder without having any zirconia. So, to have an overall content of 2.75, 2.5 and 2.0 mole percent of yttria. So, this investigation was done to understand the effect of yttria uh, on the wear behavior. So, first two samples were done at different temperatures of 1250 and 1300 and then the other samples were done at 1200 uh, Celsius at a uh, with a uh, with keeping all the other SPS parameters uh, constant. So, all these spark plasma centered yttria stabilized zirconia polycrystalline ceramics they were of more than 99.5 percent density. So, th this is the typical uh, TEM image of this 3 percent yttria stabilized tetragonal zirconia zirconia. So, you can see all these grains of uh, around 70 to 80 nanometers grains and the for comparison it is to be noted that the average grain size of this pressureless sintered 3 percent uh, yttria stabilized tetragonal zero zirconia polycrystalline sintered at 1200 Celsius uh, centigrade for 2 hours that actually gave around 240 to 280 nanometers. So, you have a benefit of uh, having a restricted grain growth when these ceramics were prepared by spark plasma centering. In the spark plasma centering, so the centering rates, uh, the heating rates were also high. So, more uh, at around 600 Kelvin per minute, whereas this pressureless centering, these were done at a lower rates of heating. So, you get a tetragonal zirconia grains of around 70 to 80 nanometers and all our XRD analysis also indicate the predominant presence of the tetragonal zirconia. So, we started with the tetragonal zirconia powder and the same tetragonal zirconia still retain even after the centering. But we can also see the peak broadening which indicates nano crystalline microstructure. The microstructure also shows the grains of around 70 to 80 nanometers. So, with respect to mechanical properties, so you can see the, the function of uh, yttria 
on the Vickers hardness and indentation fracture toughness. So, you can see the hardness actually vary from around 11.4 to uh, around 14 giga Pascal with the change in the yttria content and the highest hardness is obtained for that uh, having 3 percent yttria. So, this hit this hardness is um, around 14.4 giga Pascal for the 3, itri, 3 mole percent yttria stabilized tetragonal zirconia polycrystalline whereas, the minimum of around 11.4 is giga Pascal is uh, obtained for that with a minimum yttria content of 2 mole percent. With respect to uh, toughness, the fracture toughness again vary from around 3.9 MPa root meter to around uh, 10 MPa uh, around uh, uh, 9.5 MPa root meter. So, you can see from 3.9 to 9.5 MPa root meter change with the yttria content. So, the maximum toughness is obtained for that ceramic stabilized with minimum amount of 2 mole percent of yttria. Whereas, the hardness is obtained for that having uh, the uh, hardness obtained is lower for that having lower amount of yttria content probably due to the presence of lesser amounts of monoclinic zirconia that may form during the schooling. Uh, so, so, having a higher hardness of around 14 giga Pascal 14.5 giga Pascal and a fracture toughness of around 9.5 MPa root meter a combination can be obtained by changing the yttria content. So, with this information of the material the fretting wear test was conducted uh, for these for these uh, zirconia ceramics against a steel ball steel ball. So, fretting was done in a mode 1 fretting conditions which gave the gross slip conditions at the contact uh, at the contact. So, keeping all the parameters constant this fretting is a small amplitude oscillatory, oscillatory sliding movement. The oscillation is around 150 micron meter and the frequency of the oscillation was 8 hertz and this was conducted for a number of uh, uh, cycles up to 100,000 cycles. So, this is the coefficient of friction plot against the number of cycles for the investigated ceramics of zirconia nano ceramics uh, with varying yttria content. So, you can see initially the coefficient of friction rises up to a maximum of 0.3 to 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and within the very less number of cycles of 3000 to 8000 cycles and then there is a transition. So, the coefficient of friction remains constant or it goes actually a transition before reaching a steady state. So, you can also see for the 3 percent yttria stabilized zirconia it goes immediately after around 20,000 it goes to the higher coefficient of friction of around 0.5 whereas, that with the ceramic with the uh, 2.5 mole percent yttria. So, you can see after reaching the peak state in the running year period it goes to the lower uh, coefficient of friction around 0.35 and after around 60,000 cycles it uh, around 40 to 50,000 cycles it again shoots up and beyond 60,000 decay decay goes to the higher coefficient of friction of 0.5. So, it actually indicates that the friction is dependent on the yttria content in this zirconia nano ceramic material. So, overall the higher coefficient of frictions were obtained for all three samples uh, after around 100,000 of cycles of this fretting against steel. So, the wear rate was determined, the wear rate you can see the wear rate is very less for the spark plasma sintered ceramics compared to the conventional centered for the comparison purpose the these same ceramics uh, having this 3 percent yttria with uh, 3 percent yttria stabilized zirconia. So, these ceramics were also centered in hot pressing at 1450 Celsius. So, you can see the higher wear rate obtained for the conventionally centered ceramic whereas, the lower wear is obtained for the spark plasma centered ceramics. So, in addition to that if you see this with respect to the grain size 
the conventionally sintered material has an average grain size of around 300 nanometers, whereas part plasma sintered uh, have a very less grain size of around 80 nanometers minimum. So, it has around 80 to 200 nanometers average grain size with changing sintering temperature uh, from uh, 1200 Celsius to 1300 Celsius sintering temperature, the average grain size changed from 80 nanometers to 200 nanometers. The wear rate was less for the spark plasma sintered ceramics having a finer grain size, finer grains, whereas the coarser grain, grain material showed a larger wear. So, let us understand the mechanism of these materials. So, we can see the, the worn surfaces of these ceramics ceramics after fretting, they show mainly the mechanical wear. So, for example, this ceramic, the 3 percent yttria stabilized zirconia, this the worn surface is characterized mainly by the deeper and wider abrasive grooves as well as a lot of grain pullouts. So, this is mainly because of the mechanical wear that is characterized by this pullout and abrasion. So, when the yttria content was reduced to 2.5, again you can see the abrasion grooves and also certain cracks, micro cracks. But when the yttria content was reduced to even lower levels of 2, 2 mole percent, there is a change here. So, here you can see uh, the delaminated tribal layer here and also in addition to this tri delaminated tribal layer, there are certain cracks and also the pull out of this material. So, overall we can say the intergranular fracture and the delamination wear. So, these dissipate larger amount of energy. So, you get a larger coefficient of friction and the wear. So, if you can see the Hertzian stress initial states, the mean Hertzian contact stress vary from 674 to 1010 MPa. MPA and the corresponding contact radius is from 68.75 uh, micron meter when calculated at 10 Newton load. For this combination of this zirconia, different zirconia ceramics versus this steel material. So, you can see the such a severe contact stress leads to severe wear. So, there is a change from the grain pullout and abrasion to a delamination of a travel layer. So, let us understand this more clearly. So, what happens during sliding? The contact stress uh, uh, for this tribocouple exceeds the critical stress that is required for the transformation of the tetragonal to monoclinic zirconia phase. So, when there is a transformation from tetragonal to monoclinic, the, there is a volume expansion and then there is a micro crack nucleates and the micro cracks nucleates preferentially at the along the grain boundary, grain boundary mainly because of the grain sliding and then their uh, strain incompatibility. So, during continuous fretting because of the continuous repeated fretting strokes, these micro cracks either move through this grain boundary or to the interior of the grain. So, our inform, uh, our one surface analysis indicates there is a large amount of pull out pull out generally happens when the grain boundary is a weaker region and the crack propagates through the grain boundary and the total material of the grain is removed as a pull out. So, it, it actually indicates the crack, crack propagates through the weaker region which is a grain boundary. So, it is schematically shown here because of the repeated fretting strokes these micro cracks propagate through preferentially grain boundary. So, these so the grain pull out happens and of course, the delamination of the layer. So, the grain pull out and delamination both indicate the micro cracks move along the grain boundary and then form a larger longer cracks, they coalesce each other and then form a longer cracks. So, you can see the cracks also uh, on the uh, at, uh, where the there is a surface layer, uh, there is a delamination of this layer. So, let us understand this tribology of this nano ceramic zirconia ceramics. So, there are two important features involved in this tribology. Number one, there is a higher hardness for the SPSF processed zirconia ceramics compared to the conventional ceramics. 
the higher hardness corroborates with a lower wear rate because it will not uh, it will not wear uh, it will not allow the wear to happen easily because of the higher hardness so the spark plasma centered materials always show a higher hardness because of the finer grain structure so the higher hardness agrees with the lower wear rate observed for the spark plasma centered zirconia nano ceramics the other point is the coarser grain size in conventionally centered zirconia results in a larger wear rate so that wear damage in the nano ceramics is restricted to the central region as we have seen here this is a central re it is restricted to the central region whereas the other region in the contact is more or less a smoother region so the wear is actually confined to the central region central region of the wear pit in case of the ceramics uh, particularly those with the higher toughness so among the investigated ceramics the 2% yttria stabilized zirconia showed a maximum toughness so because of the toughness the higher toughness the wear damage is restricted only to the contact stress region where it has maximum the contact stress region is maximum at the central region of the wear pit so it is localized wear so such a localized wear although driven by this intergranular fracture results in lesser wear compared with that of the conventionally centered zirconia wear so to these these uh, uh, results can be concluded like better wear resistance is exhibited by the spark plasma centered zirconia polycrystalline nano ceramics in comparison with the conventionally centered nano ceramics also the nano ceramics of varying yttria stabilization from 3 to 2 mole percent so these varying yttria stabilization this shows almost a similar frictional behavior with steady state reaching a maximum of around 0.5 so the whereas the wear lay rate lies around 10.6 mm cube per newton meter for these ceramics with respect to the mechanisms of the material removal basically the tribo mechanical wear in terms of the intergranular fracture and grain pull out occurs for these nano ceramics whereas micro cracking around the transforming tetragonal grain boundary that leads to wear loss of the nano ceramics so the deeper and wider abrasive groups are observed on the 3 mole percent yttria added zirconia nano ceramics on the other hand the wear damage is highly localized to the central region of the worn surface for the ceramics having a higher toughness which is in this case this is 2 mole percent yttria stabilized zirconia polycrystalline ceramics so this particular investigation uh, is very important to understand the effect of the yttria overall yttria content on the wear behavior of this nano ceramics in addition to that it also gives an information about the beneficial effect of the nano sized zirconia which was pro pro processed by spark plasma sintering than that processed by conventionally sintering conventional sintering so the friction in the steady state does not change much but is always higher friction because of the rough surface which is characterized by the intergranular fracture where you have lot of grain pull out as the yttria mole percent decreases to 2 mole percent which results in a higher toughness so you have a localized wear so you get a lesser wear comparatively with that uh, than uh, with that observed for the 3 mole percent yttria stabilized zirconia so yeah thank you